I myself am an avid gum chewer, chewing at least one piece a day. And so I think it's time we finally figure out which gum really is the best. Now, I will be judging each gum on four categories. Taste, flavor length, does it stay gum, and bubble blowing ability. And while taste and flavor length are pretty self-explanatory, the other two have some extra details. For the stay gum category, I found out that I guess you're only supposed to chew gum for 15 minutes. And so I will be chewing each piece for 30 minutes. And if there's no sign of deteriorating, then I'm gonna give it a pass. And then for the bubble blowing ability, I will be blowing each bubble after the 30 minutes to really see the gum's full potential. Also, I did my best to get the same flavor so we can rank them fairly. And after stockpiling a decent sized gum collection, I began my journey with some Double Bubble. And Double Bubble wasn't there to play around because what it lacked in other categories, it made up for in the bubble. I mean, do you see that freaking bubble? Then we tried the fruit that's juicy and it blew me away a little. It tastes it's immaculate. And after that, I was feeling extra good about the next one and extra did not disappoint with its taste ranking a nine and flavor length being over eight minutes, it blew juicy fruit and double bubble out of the water. But after extra, I wanted to stay minty. And so I went for the double mint. And this is where I possibly made a mistake. Wait, juicy fruit and double mint are the same? Um, I did not know this. But it's fine because double mint was better than juicy fruit anyway. Oh, that's good. Then it was midnight and that meant that the earth just completed its daily orbit. And after talking about the earth, I couldn't leave out the moon. We just finished orbit as well as the earth. And that means that the moon's out. And what does the moon control? The tides, of course. And what else is in the tides? Poseidon. And when you think of Poseidon, you think of Trident. And after all the astronomy, I got a little thirsty. And so I went to go get a cold glass of water with some ice cubes, but was highly disappointed because this was by far the worst gum yet. This tastes like ass. This tastes like horrible. This <laughs> the worst gum I've ever had in my life. Now, this is where things get interesting. All the big dogs are out of the way. And so now it's time to try the little guys. And who knows, maybe put them on the map. To start off, we went to one of my childhood favorites. And you're probably thinking bubble gum, but I'm not, I'm thinking bubble yum. Then things got a little fizzy and you're wondering why? Because we were dealing with Mentos. After Mentos, I tried probably the coolest gum of them all. You know, the one that stimulates your senses. Five gum. But did it live up to expectations? Honestly, that's like an, that's like an eight. I'm giving it an eight. Eh. Then we moved on to Airheads. The candy? No, the gum, which uh, I didn't know existed, and I think for good reason. Honestly, not that good. Give like a four and a half. Stick to the candy, Airheads, okay? And that led me to the end of the little guys. But we're not done. No, we still got one more category. The weirdos. The first one was either purr or pure. I'm not quite sure, but if it's pure, then instead of pure gum, it should be called pure bullshit because the flavor only lasts for a minute and a half, but the actual flavor itself wasn't bad. And then we had the final gum, simply gum, which is probably one of the grossest things I've ever tasted. Could this be because it was expired for over four months? Um, December 20th, 2022, possibly, but still very, very gross. I'm not eating that. That's, I think that might actually be dog food. And now it was time to go over each category's champions. For taste, we had a tie between Extra and Mentos, both ranking a nine. For flavor length, Extra dominated, with it getting over eight minutes, with the second closest only getting five and a half. Now, I would strap in for this next one, because for the category Stay Gum, we we had quite the upset with there being a 12-way tie and simply gum only forfeiting because it simply tastes like garbage and there was no way I was chewing it for 30 minutes. And lastly, the thing that really matters when it comes to gum, bubble blowing ability. And this is where Bubble Yum came out on top with a 9.5. And so which gum really is the greatest of all time? The answer is... Well, I don't know yet. I haven't tied them up. And so this is where future James comes into play. The winner is extra.